Welcome, and thank you for taking the time to learn about the market-leading CPL DMAX P130 access platform. In this video, we'll show you the correct procedure, the safe setup and deployment of the P130, correct and safe operation of the controls, and how to recover in an emergency. On arrival at site, please ensure you check your surroundings for any hazards, including the ground conditions, and deploy any relevant roadworks, guarding, and health and safety equipment. Once satisfied that you are safe from the cab, ensure that the handbrake is fully engaged and the PTO and any necessary beacons from the console on the dash are working. If you drop the handbrake whilst the engine is running with PTO engaged or legs unstowed, you will hear a warning buzzer, which will ultimately cut the PTO off. At the lower controls, ensure that they are switched to leg controls and then deploy the legs until you have ground contact shown by four green lights on the control panel. You'll also find the level bubble, which you can then use to trim each leg to achieve as close to zero degrees as possible. The ideal setup is zero degrees side to side, front legs extended to take the bulge out of the tires and the rears taking all the travel out of the suspension and just lifting the rear wheels off the ground. Once safely set up, you can then switch to the ground controls tally the boom out to the correct height to enter the basket. Or, if space is restricted, use the optional deck mounted access step, handle and extension step to access the basket. Before driving away, it's good practice to turn off all the beacons on the dash panel and check your air suspension pressure is set to three bar. The controls for this are located in the upper glove box on the passenger side of the cab. When ready to access the basket, switch to upper controls and remove the key so that the operator remains in control of all boom functions. Once inside the basket, you can clip to the integrated harness eyes and begin operation of the CPL P130 access platform. Position of the control lever is exactly the same as the lower end of the control, but controls having an extra lever for trimming the basket as and when required. Boom operates on a fully hydraulic and proportional control system, which is backed up by an emergency motor, which is best used in two-minute bursts. We've also included a third safety recovery system, which is a hand pump. The lower and upper controls both have an emergency stop button to be used in emergencies, along with a horn button for attracting attention. There is also an engine start-stop button for use when you don't need to have the engine running and if you're keeping the boom stationary to carry out your works. In the unlikely scenario, you have a leg go light whilst deployed in the basket, an alarm will sound and a light will illuminate on the control box and in the basket. Calmly come back down to dock, exit the basket, tally the boom in and reset the legs to ensure you have a good ground contact with all the legs before entering the basket and continuing with your job. It's the responsibility of the operator to carry out a full risk assessment before using the machine at each site in case the emergency procedure is required. There are three main emergency procedures. One covers the engine and hydraulic pump failure. In the event of an engine power failure, but the electrical system is working, you can, from the basket controls, press and hold the emergency motor switch on the electrical box, whilst also operating the functions as normal to bring the boom back into the stowed position. The second is in the event the operator is incapacitated, while you have a basket control panel failure. From the lower control station, turn the key switch to lower controls, press and hold the emergency motor switch on the electrical box, and operate the functions as normal to bring the boom back into the stowed position. To raise the outriggers from the lower control station, turn the key switch to outriggers, press and hold the emergency motor switch on the electrical box, and raise the legs using the four levers under the deck. The third emergency procedure is if you have engine, hydraulic pump and electrical failure. Ensure the tap of the lower control station is positioned correctly to the right hand side. Locate the emergency pump handle in the vehicle cab and at the lower control station insert the hand pump handle into the hand pump and screw in. Whilst pumping the hand pump, operate the boom controls as normal to bring the boom down safely 
so that the boom can be fully stowed. Once this is complete, break the seal on the tap and move into the other position. From here, you can locate the override knob on the front of the leg lever valve and screw this all the way out. Remove the plastic spacer and keep this safe. Then screw the override knob back into the valve as far as it will go. However, do not over tighten this. Whilst pumping the hand pump, operate the leg controls as normal to fully retract the outriggers. Once completed, remove the hand pump handle, place it back in the cab, unscrew the override valve, refit the plastic spacer and refit the valve. Make sure the emergency control valve is placed back into the normal working position.